Eleven New Zealand citizens have been allowed out of Gaza via the Rafah crossing with Egypt. It's thought a further nine remain inside the besieged territory. But Hamas says it's suspended negotiations for the release of the hostages it's holding in retaliation for Israel's attacks all around the main Gaza hospital, Al-Shifa. Europe correspondent Lisa Raymer reports. These newborn babies are huddled together to stay warm. It's their only chance at survival after Al Shifa Hospital ran out of fuel to power the incubators. The health ministry claims three premature babies have already died and their doctor expects to lose more of them day by day. So the situation is very, very bad. We need help. The sound of bombs dropping echoes around Gaza's biggest hospital. The fear is felt around the globe. We thought that Al Shifa Hospital was a safe place, but it wasn't. If we had stayed another five minutes, we would have been killed. They started to bomb us, and we ran away from Al Shifa. My son got injured, so I left him there. I just couldn't take him with me. This video shows medics turning to torchlight to treat the wounded, but the Israeli military denies the hospital is without power. Instead, releasing this footage showing soldiers leaving fuel outside Al Shifa Hospital. They claim to have coordinated the delivery with hospital officials and have also agreed to help the most vulnerable. The staff of the Shifa Hospital has requested that tomorrow we will help the babies in the pediatric department to get to a safer hospital. We will provide the assistance needed. But the issue is not isolated. Tonight, the Palestinian Red Crescent announced with what it called sorrow, pain and anger that the second largest hospital of Gaza is also officially out of service. The Israeli Prime Minister maintains his military is not targeting hospitals, but did accuse Hamas of using them as a place to hide. We're obviously treading carefully when it comes to hospitals, but we're also not going to give immunity to the terrorists. 240 Israeli hostages are still being held here by Hamas and hopes of finding them tonight have been dimmed further. Hamas says it's suspending negotiations for hostage release because of Israel's handling of the Al Shifa hospital. The payback pain seems never ending. In London, they said Raymond News Hub.